Tim Jennison is with me here today to talk about the documentary that is coming out with him in it and a number of other things. Tim, thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. So Tim, we'll look at the documentary first. Tim's Vermeer uh, essentially is a documentary about you replicating Vermeer portraits. But what you found in, your, in this documentary, but really your studies, was that there was a component missing that many people didn't know about. What was it? Well, you know, photography was invented in about 1840, and it wasn't long after that that people started saying, hey, these photographs kind of look like Vermeers. Why is that? And there was something strange about the Vermeers. You know, they, they look like, um, they have that photographic look. And I'm a video engineer by trade, among other things, and I'm used to looking at images on a TV screen and judging what's wrong with it. Mm. When I saw the Vermeer, I saw something that was too accurate to be painted by well, it couldn't really be seen by the human eye, what Vermeer painted. But so he so you're, almost, you're almost saying that it, it seemed impossible that Vermeer could have done this. It seemed to me impossible to paint like Vermeer. Uh, so I reasoned that Vermeer must have not only been able to trace the shapes of things, but to trace the colors exactly. Mm. That's the way you can get that photographic look. And if you could do that, you would have a human-made photograph, a photograph that was 350 years old. And so I thought about it, and in the, in the bathtub one day, it occurred to me how he might have done it. A very, very simple, elegant way to trace the colors. Which is what? It's a, it's a simple mirror that's placed in just the right spot. And so you look through this mirror. In the mirror's reflection, you see your subject, whatever you're painting. Just past the edge of the mirror, you see your canvas. Right at the edge of the mirror, you can compare those two colors, because they're just like that like comparing two paint chips. Right. That's the basic idea, and it's, it's a little more involved than that. But by, I, had, I did a simple experiment on my kitchen table, and I had never painted, I never picked up oil paints in my life, sure. and I painted this thing that was an exact copy of this photograph that I, that I had uh, as a test. And I thought, this, wor this works way too well. I, I thought Vermeer must have done this. So mm. I decided to, um, to do a, a, a more effective experiment to actually paint, repaint one of Vermeer's paintings. And I did it by reconstructing his studio in full size, building all the furniture, life size, putting people in it, making this uh, uh, it, 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 kind of like a movie set. And then I set up the machine as I thought Vermeer must have used, uh, used it. And, um, and uh, it took a long time. <laughs> How long did it take? Well, it took, uh, the, the whole project took about four or five years. Okay. So I feel very fortunate that I could take enough time off work and pursue this. And it was, uh, it was just uh, an amazing experience. So you were able to find something that nobody else had found, at least in the research of Vermeer. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, uh, it, if it's true, and I can't, I can't really prove it, um, all I can do is show that with this machine, I get something that looks almost exactly like a Vermeer. There is no historical evidence that he did this. But if it's mm -hmm. true, it, it does change art history. Penn and Teller worked on the documentary with you. They were narrating it. Uh, I mean, how, how'd you come into contact uh, with them on, on this project? Uh, one day, after I had done this first experiment on my kitchen table, just by coincidence, uh, Penn sent me an email and he said, um, I have been doing nothing but spending time with my toddlers and I need an adult conversation. Can you please come over and talk to me? And he sounded desperate. And so I went over and he said, okay, I don't want to talk about show business. I don't want to talk about uh, politics. I don't want to talk about work or anything to do with, you know, making a show or anything like that. What do you got? And I thought for a minute, and I said, well, what do you know about Vermeer? He said, the painter. I said, yeah. He said, not, not much. I, I know what they look like. I, I've, I, I went to a show in New York where there were a bunch of Vermeers. He painted very, you know, photographically. And I said, well, I think I figured out how he did it. And he said, what? And I happened to have um, my, my little snapshot camera on my belt. And there was, a, I, there was a video on there looking down through the apparatus as I did my experiment, and I showed it to him. And he said, I totally get this. You know, being a magician, you know a lot about optics sure. and mirrors. 
And he said, what are you going to do with this? And I said, well, you know, I'd probably make an online video and maybe write a paper or something. And he said, that is a really stupid idea. <laughs> Why is it Th stupid? This should, be, this should be a real movie. Mm -hmm. So he said, we should start pitching this. And that's, that's how the whole thing started. And it just, just kind of got the ball rolling. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's been great here, being here. For The Street, I'm Joe Dell.